whenever beginning any reloading operation, it's a good idea to start out with safety glasses. Even when cleaning a new set of dyes, we will be working with aerosols that can get into your eye. So please take your safety very seriously. The next step is to get the case activated powder drop set up and ready to go. We'll go ahead and unwrap that. This is how it comes packaged. Slip the bubble wrap off. Go down to the trash basket with that. And then the paper on the bottom is actually an anti-tarnish paper. It absorbs humidity and keeps the, uh, keeps the metal parts from rusting in shipment and while it's on the shelf. We'll go ahead and unwrap that. And the powder measure comes completely assembled with one catch. When the powder measure is assembled at the factory, it's assembled with an anti-tarnish or an anti-rust compound that powder sticks to really well. So the first thing that we need to do with the case activated powder drop is completely disassemble, degrease, and clean, and dry lube so that powder won't stick as the powder's passing through. So we're gonna go ahead and start with disassembly. Take the powder drop tube out first. We don't wanna take any more apart than we absolutely have to. So we're going to take out the two cap screws on the rotor. The goal is to leave the linkage together so we can take the linkage off as one unit, clean the powder measure, degrease the powder measure, and dry lube the powder measure, clean the linkage as a separate unit, and then reattach the linkage to the powder measure. So we'll take these three cap screws out set them to the side. They're all identical cap screws, so no worries about getting anything confused. We're going to lift the linkage off. There's a roll pin here that I'm lifting it past. It gives you a little bit of tension and also helps to line it up. Set the linkage off to the side. And then this is the actuator arm. The reason that I took the actuator arm off we'll go ahead and just slip it back in here where it belongs is that to completely disassemble the powder measure i.e. take the rotor out that arm has to be off so that the rotor will slip out the next step is to press this detent slip out the powder metering insert and then the rotor will slip out that direction. All right. Now we want to disassemble the powder metering insert. Take the tensioning nut off, set that off to the side. There's a rubber o ring. We're going to take the rubber o ring off, we're going to set it off to the side. When we're using Hornady One Shot Gun Cleaner and Dry Lube, that will cause the rubber o ring to swell. So we want to set the rubber o ring off to the side. Go ahead finish disassembling the metering insert. Put that down. All right, the powder measure is now completely disassembled and is ready to be cleaned. I prefer Hornady's One Shot Gun Cleaner and Dry Lube for the cleaning and degreasing of the powder measure. You spray everything down good to get all of the anti-tarnish off give it a quick wipe with a rag. It also leaves a good dry lubricant on the metal parts. The dry lubricant will keep everything moving freely. The drop tubes are particularly critical in making sure that they're very clean. We'll spray out the inside real well. Wipe them out good with a rag. You want the inside of the powder drop tube completely clean and completely dry. 
We'll spray that down, wipe it off. Next, we'll do the rotor. And you can see the assembly grease on that rotor. Powder will stick to that like glue. Once the powder starts sticking inside the powder measure, you'll get very inconsistent charge weights. And probably one of the number one things, if you talk to the customer service guys, they have someone call in and say that there's an issue with the powder measure not throwing a consistent charge. The most common reason for that is that the powder measure was not cleaned and degreased prior to use. It's a very simple thing to do, but it's often overlooked. And we'll clean out the inside chamber of the rotor. Make sure that's completely clean and dry. We don't want anything in there. Set that off to the side. Put the rest of the metering insert here. This thread's cleaned off real well. Now the face of the metering insert, we want to make sure we get it wiped off dead clean and dry. The threads and the rest of the, the metering insert, it's okay to just go ahead and leave the dry cleaner and lube on. Uh, it will leave a film of dry lube. You want that on the threads. And then the lock or the tension ring, spray it off, give it a quick wipe, set it over there. And now for the powder measure body. In the critical areas, you want to spray some one shot down inside there. That will run down through and then also come in and spray out where the rotor runs and then back up inside where the drop tube screws in. And then we want to get in there and wipe out all of the assembly grease and anti-tarnish. And then the case activated powder measure die. We'll go ahead and clean this up. Again, we've got an internal dimension that's critical to have any of the sticky lube cleaned off of and a good dry lube like the one in Hornady One Shot applied. It's got a big hole through it so it's easy to stuff a rag in and get it wiped out. Just quickly wipe off the outside. Give it a quick shot of one shot. We'll let that dry. That'll be cleaned and lubricated. And then for the linkage, same treatment. Just give it a quick shot of cleaner and dry lube. Quick wipe off or anti-tarnish. One more quick shot on the joint to lubricate. 